गुरवे गौरचंद्राय राधिकायल कृष्णा कृष्ण भक्ताय तदभक्ताय नमो तवै वास्मे तवै वास्मे First, I offer my most humble obeisances unto Vaishnav Gurudev, and I offer my humble obeisances unto all the Vaishnavas assembled here today, especially the Sanyas and the Arya. Um, Gurudev has asked me to speak about a little bit about the distribution of the book table. As we saw when Ajahn Aditi was singing that beautiful song, Varajo Vipine, we could all witness Gurudev's depth, his absorption, and his pleasure. And Guru is here to share with all of us the deep secrets of the spiritual realm. Literally, these books on that table are precious gems. A glimpse of Guru's heart, his soul, his mind, his energy, his blood, everything. He spends hours and hours, days, months, so much of his time pouring his heart into these books. And his only request to each and every one of us, all of you and myself, is that we take this, these gems that he has carried from Vrindavan Dam, he's carried from Goloka Vrindavan, and brought here, over, crossing the ocean, crossing over so many things, is that we share this precious gems with every, anyone, that, every, anyone and everyone. So Gurudev, his desire, he, the first day he came to the book table, he said, I want that all these books are gone before the last day of the festival. So, we have also so many new titles. The Journey of the Soul, Jiva Tattva, we have Archan Deepika, and, this, and the prices are amazing. <laughs> for one Archan Deepika, for example, for Jiva Tattva, Journey of the Soul, for one, it's $12. But if you get a pack of five, then you would give it $7 each book. If you get a case, $5 each book. And all the prices are like this. So I pray. So Ramanana Sambad, Archan Deepika, reprint of Venuki, the essence of all advice, so butter thieves, so many butter thieves, so many of we brought more books than in any other festival. So I pray, I pray to Gurude that his desire will be fulfilled in this festival. And that each and every one of you will will get a case of books <laughs> or or if you're afraid oh i can't distribute i'm scared I'm, i can't do it that's fine you can sponsor to those persons there's so many people have come up to me and said brana please if anyone wants to donate books let me know so many brahmacharis are here ready but they don't have the lakshmi so please i beg all of you humbly that we all make good day's desire come true in this festival <laughs> Big book distribution is one of the preaching cars. I think in a couple of days, Bhakti Vedan Swami Maharaj, a priest of our all world, by books. I want also that as at the time of Siddha. Bhakti Vedan Swami Maharaj. Very soon he preached by books. I have written not less than hundred books. So many translations are coming. So I want that these books should go 
door to door. So I request you that there is a book a stall here, very small. In a do day or two, any book should not be there. All should be taken and teach their brain. There are calendars, uh, also the books of Samrani, posters, and so many things you can collect. You know from Srimad Bhagavatam that Apur went to Vrindavan and in he invited oh or unhone Something after what it will come. Very great. Just for me. Sorry, guys. So, Akru told that your father and your mother, Vasudev Dev, are tortured so much. You must do, you must go to Mathura and also after Ras, Narada went to Krishna, Prabhu, I want to see your all sweet pastimes. Why not Mathura? And after Mathura, why not Dwarka? Your one of the main cause is Bhubhar Har. So you will have to go. Though Vrindavan is love and affection of place, anyone cannot give up. That's Gopis, Nand Maharaj, Jasoda, from heart, core of heart. They are loving Krishna. So why? And how Krishna can give up Nanda Baba, Jasoda Maya? Why he will go to Mathura and Dwarka? Krishna is Satya Sankalpa. Krishna Satya Sankalpa hai. Jo kuch kahenge, वो पूरा करके रहेंगे 
इसको कहते हैं सत्संकल्प सो वेन कृष्ण जबकि कृष्ण आ रहे थे गोपियों ने दौत्य का दूतों के मुख से कहा मैं आऊंगा कंस का बध करके आऊंगा और आऊंगा मुझे कोई रोक नहीं सकता इसलिए कृष्ण यदि सत्य संकल्प है तो उनका वाक्य पूरा होना चाहिए जब मैं आऊंगा आऊंगा निश्चित आऊंगा ये पूरा किया कि नहीं ये देखना है विश्वनाथ चक्रवर्ती ठाकुर कह रहे हैं जय कृष्ण यदि केवल सांत्वना देने के लिए कह रहे हैं दूसरों के लिए नहीं कह रहे हैं केवल उनको सांत्वना देने के लिए उनका वचन और कर्ज दोनों में यदि भेद है तब तो संकल्प है संत संकल्प वही होगा जो कृष्ण चाहेंगे वो जरूर करेंगे ओ यू गुरु वे गौर चंद राधिकारे कृष्ण है कृष्ण भट्ट तट भट्ट नमो नम So Krishna is described everywhere as Satya Sankalpa. That means whatever he promises by his mouth, he must complete by action. So when Sri Krishna left Mathura and went to when Krishna left Vrindavan and went to Mathura, then he sent by any messenger the promise: "I must return. I must return. I must return." After killing Kamsa, I will return to Vrindavan, and no one can check me. Therefore, for someone to be called such a sankalpa, there should be no difference between their words and their activities. So Krishna's promise must be true. And how did he fulfill it? Sri Bishwana Chakravarti Thakur asked the question: Did Sri Krishna speak this through the messenger only to pacify others? If so, then he is not such a sankalpa. Therefore, we will have to see how he completed his promise to return to Brindavan. संकल्प तो कैसे पूरा किया उनका करने में और कथने में अलग नहीं होना चाहिए कृष्ण एंड बल देव ही केम वी था क्रूर टू मथुरा एंड ग्रेजुअली हे किल्ड कुबल्या पे दरवाजे पो हे वो उसको तीन भागों में तोड़ करके रख दिया फिर भीतर में गए कंस ने सोचा था जे कृष्ण को अकेले मथुरा में वृंदावन में रहता था उसको मारा नहीं जा सकता इसलिए अक्रू तुम जाओ और कृष्ण बलदेव को ले आओ इसलिए अक्रूर गए ले आए और कृष्ण ने एरेना में घूम घूम करके चारुण मुष्ट को मारा बलदेव जी ने भी मारा इस प्रकार मंच के ऊपर में उछल करके गए 
और कहा जे इसी बल पर तुम मेरी मैया देवकी उसको मारना चाहता था इसलिए तुम्हारा इसी प्रकार से वध करूंगा और झट मंच के ऊपर में कूद गए और उसकी चोटी पकड़ ली युद्ध करने का अवकाश नहीं दिया और नीचे गिरा करके उसके ऊपर में कृष्ण कूद गए और उसे खींच करके देखा जे जीवित है कि मरा है हाहाकार मच गई रानिया रोने लग गई कृष्ण ने सबको सांत्वना दे करके उसका सत्कर्म कराया और फिर जो जदु लोग इधर उधर भाग गए थे उन सबको एकत्रित किया फिर एकत्रित करने के बाद में ये तो बहुत दिनों की बात हुई एक दिन में तो सबको बुलाना उग्रसेन को राज्य देना उग्रसेन बोले जी मैं बूढ़ा हो गया अब मुझसे राज्य का भार नहीं चलेगा और जैसे जिसको हम प्रणाम करते हैं उसको देवता लोग भी बाध्य है आकर के उनको प्रणाम करें तो। So, Siyakura, he took Sri Krishna and Balaram from Raj to Mathura. There in Mathura, Sri Krishna and Balaram together, they killed the elephant demon Kuvaliyapit. They broke the worshipful bow of Shankar into three places. Devil Kamsa had been thinking, <clears throat> if Krishna is in Vrindavan, it's not possible for me to kill him. Therefore, for that reason, he sent a Kura to Vrindavan to bring Krishna out of Vrindavan and to Mathura. But there what happened? See, Krishna and Balaram killed the wrestlers, demonic wrestlers, Charan and Mustak. There Krishna saw it. Kamsa was on a high platform. Then he became very angry. Oh, you wanted to kill my mother? Devaki, I'll see to you. Therefore, Krishna very quickly jumped onto the platform where Kamsa was there and grabbed him by the hair and did not give him any chance to fight. Then Krishna threw him on the ground and jumped upon his chest and finished him. There was someone doubting, is he alive or dead? Therefore Krishna dragged him. <laughs> Everyone began crying, alas, alas, the king is dead. Kamsa's wives were also weeping bitterly. Then Krishna himself performed the funeral ceremonies of Kamsmaraj. Therefore, when the Yadus heard that Kams had been slaughtered, killed, then all the Yadus who had been flung here and there all came together and congregated in Mathura. Therefore, Krishna, we, uh, Krishna did all this. Therefore, in one day, Krishna established Ugrasen, who was Kams' father, as the king. So Ugrasen was saying, I am very old, I am weak, I have no power to be king. Then Krishna established him as king. All the demigods should also worship him. Don't worry. Here, Vishwa Natcha Kavarti Thaku is asking question and answering. Oh, we are doing questions. और प्रश्न का उत्तर भी दे रहे हैं क्यों हम लोग उसका समाधान नहीं कर सकते जहां पर प्रेम मिलता है आदमी वहीं रहना चाहता है वसुदेव देव की कार कृष्ण के प्रति प्रेम है किंतु नंद जसोदा का जितना कृष्ण के प्रति प्रेम है गोपियों का जितना प्रेम है उतना नहीं है वहां पर बहुत कम है 
यहाँ पर वृंदावन में ब्रज में पूर्ण है कृष्ण मथुरा से आते समय जो कहा था मैं आऊंगा आऊंगा और अवश्य आऊंगा तो वो कहा जाएगा संकल्प यदि वाणी के साथ में उनका कर्तव्य भी वैसा ही होता है तब तो वो ठीक है और वाणी और वो दोनों एक नहीं होते तो तब ठीक नहीं है जहां प्रेम मिलता है उस स्थान को नहीं छोड़ा कृष्ण ने ब्रज को क्यों छोड़ा यदि छोड़ा भी तो गोपियों को भी मथुरा ले जाते मथुरा ले क्यों नहीं गए एक ही रात में मथुरा से द्वारका चले गए वहां के सब कुछ छोड़कर वो मथुरा से द्वारका चले गए इनके लिए क्या संभव है कृष्ण के लिए भगवान है ना इनके लिए कुछ भी असंभव Therefore, Sri Vishnu Chakravarti Thakur, in the form of Purva Paks, that means he himself is presenting the questions, and he himself is giving the answer. Why is he doing like this? Because it is not possible for ordinary persons like us to reconcile these apparently inconceivable differences. Therefore, Sri Vishnu Chakravarti Thakur rises, raises the question: A person must stay where he achieve, where he gets the most affection. Therefore, even though it's true, Basudev and Devaki in Mathura have prem so much for Sri Krishna, but still their prem cannot be equal or supersede the prem of Nandi or Soda. What to speak of the Braj Gopis? Therefore, how is it possible that Krishna left Vrindavan and went to Mathura? Also, another question is there. Krishna promised at the time of leaving Vrindavan and going to Mathura. I will come. I will definitely come. I promise I will come. Therefore, if Krishna fulfilled his words and went back to Vrindavan, then that will be okay. But it seems that he did not. Therefore, it seems there is a difference between Krishna's promise and his activities. Therefore, this raises another doubt. Therefore, how Krishna can leave that place where he achieves, where he receives the most prema? Why did he leave Vrindavan? Another question is there. Then, if Krishna in one night he took all the millions of residents of Mathura and transferred them to Dwarka, then why he could not brought the gopis from Vrindavan to Mathura? After all, he is Bhagawan, and nothing is impossible for him. So why he did not do so? जब कंस मारा गया तो कृष्ण एवं बलराम देवकी के पास में गए और बोले उनको देख करके कृष्ण बलदेव का जो कौन से जैसे वीर को मार सकता है तो भला मनुष्य है वो जरूर भगवान है इसलिए देवकी ने वसुदेव जी ने उनको प्रणाम तक नहीं किया हाथ जोड़ करके खड़े हो गए बलदेव जी ने कहा और कृष्ण ने जी मैया तो हमें प्यार तक नहीं कर रही हमें भगवान मान रही इसलिए अपने जोग माया को आश्रय करके उनके उस भाव को जब वो भुलवा दिया कृष्ण स्वयं भगवान है 
सब लोग भूल गए उन्होंने कहा कि माता पिता को हम लोग बचपन में जो माता पिता पुत्र को लालन पालन करता है वो सुख हमने तुम लोगों को नहीं दिया इसलिए हम लोग बड़े दुखी हैं हमारे बचपन की किशोर लीलाएं आप लोग आस्वादन नहीं कर सके इसलिए अपनी जो गुमाया के प्रभाव से भगवत भाव ऐश्वर्य भाव भुला दिया और तब मैया जो देव की और पिता वसुदेव जी दोनों को गोदी में लेकर के स्नेह से बातचीत करने लगे हाँ। Therefore, after Krishna and Balaram killed Kamsa, they approached Devaki and Basudev. Therefore, Devaki and Basudev were thinking, how Krishna could kill such a huge, powerful hero like Kamsa? He could not be any human being. He must be the supreme Lord Himself. Therefore, they became filled with feelings of awe and reverence. They could not even bow to the ground. They simply stood with their hands joined and prayed to Krishna. Then Krishna was thinking. Ali, they cannot give me so much affection because they think that I am Bhagawan, the Supreme Lord. Therefore, Krishna, being dissatisfied with this slightly, he called his yoga Maya, and that made Devaki and Basudev forget that Krishna was the Supreme Lord. Therefore, Krishna said, "The mother and father give so much affection to the child, and by that they get great happiness. But alas, we could not give you that happiness because we were take we went to Vrindavan." Therefore, Krishna's yoga Maya enabled them to forget their feelings of awe and reverence to see Krishna, and then, being filled with a new mood of parental affection, they took Krishna and Balaram on their lap and began talking to them with great affection. When Kans was killed, Zabki Kans mara gaya. तो सब ब्रजवासी मथुरापुर वासी कहने लगे ये दोनों देवकी के पुत्र हैं नंद और जसोदा तो पुष्य पिता माता है यथार्थ में उनके पिता यही हैं वो नहीं है तुम देव की और वसुदेव के पुत्र हो तुम नंद जसोदा जब कंस का अत्याचार होने लगा तो तुमको भेजा गया वहां पर और उन्होंने बड़े अच्छी तरह से तुम्हारी सेवा की किंतु वो पुष्य माता पिता है असल में है ये इस प्रकार से कहने लगे उधर में कंस को मारने के बाद में सारी व्यवस्था के लिए कहा तो किंतु थोड़े देर के बाद में ही हमारे वंश में राजा का बात नहीं है इसलिए मैं आप बूढ़े होने पर भी सबके मान्य है उग्रसेन को राजा के रूप में बैठाया और जिसका आदेश हम मानते हैं उनका आदेश देवता तक नहीं टाल सकते इसलिए और उधर में नंद बाबा के पास में कंस के मारने के बाद में थोड़ी देर के बाद में रात में नंद बाबा वहां बिलख करके रो रहे थे 
अभी तक आए नहीं क्या बात है शाम को जबकि कृष्ण आए तो नंद बाबा एक तरफ बलदेव को और एक तरफ कृष्ण को बैठा कर और दोनों हाथों से पकड़ करके कान बोलो तो तुम्हारा भी प्राय क्या है इतनी देर तक मैं तुम लोगों को देखता रहा और आए नहीं मैं देखते 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 थक गया था So after Krishna killed Kamsa, all the residents of Mathura Bas, all the residents of Mathura began saying, "Really, they are the sons of Basudev and Devaki. Actually, Nanda and Yasoda are simply step parents." Then all began telling Krishna and Balaram, "You are really the sons of Basudev and Devaki, because Kamsa was causing so much disturbance to your parents, and because they they loved you so much, they sent you to Brindavan." And there you fell under the very affectionate care of Nandi Yasoda, but Nandi Yasoda are not your real parents. Your real parents are Devaki and Basudev. Therefore, Sri Krishna, he, after some time, he was saying, "Because I come in the Yadu dynasty, no one in our dynasty can become king. Therefore, for this reason, I will establish Uga Singh as king. You should not be afraid that anyone will disobey you." Because even I am following his instructions, therefore all the demigods in the whole universe will also follow your instruction. So while this was going on, all this political arrangement, then Sri Nanda Baba was waiting and crying, when Krishna and Balaram will come back for me. As yet they have not come. So at night time, Sri Krishna and Balaram came, and Nanda Baba he took Krishna and Balaram each on one side of his lap. And embraced them and began speaking with them with so much affection. Oh, for so long I was waiting for you. In fact, I waited so long I became very tired. Krishna is very tricky. <laughs> When he goes to Devaki Basude, Baste, Tatta unhi ko mata pita kahte hain. और शाम को जब आए तो नंद ज, नंद बाबा जो बैठे हैं उनसे कहते हैं कि पिताजी सभी लोग कह रहे हैं कि तुम वसुदेव के पुत्र हो नंद के पुत्र नहीं हो मुझे रोक रहे हैं तुम्हारे पास आने के लिए बलदेव प्रभु कह रहे हैं पहले देखो बाबा जो माता पिता पुत्र को बचपन में छोड़ देता है रास्ते में और जो आंख की पुतली की भांति प्यार से रखता है वो माता पिता है मैं ब्रज में गया और नंद जसोदा जी ने हमें पिता और माता की तरह में पालन पोषण किया अतः हमारे माता पिता वही हैं, जन्मदाता पिता नहीं अतएव यदि कृष्ण को आप ले करके ब्रज में चले जाएंगे मैं यहां नहीं रह सकता यदि ब्रह्मा आए 
और हजारों बार कहे तुम जाओ तो मैं नहीं जा सकता तब नंद बाबा ने पूछा अच्छा ये बतलाओ तो सचमुच में तुम्हारा भी प्राय क्या है बलदेव बोले बाबा तुम ही हमारे माता पिता हो आप कृष्ण को लेकर के ब्रज में चले जाएंगे और मैं यहाँ पर वसुदेव जी के यहाँ पर अकेले रोता रहूंगा ये ब्रह्मा भी आकर के कहे तो हम नहीं मानेंगे कृष्ण जहां रहेगा वहीं पर हम भी जाएंगे नंद बाबा बोले भाई बात तो बिगड़ रही नंद ने कहा जे बेटा देखो अब वसुदेव ने तुम्हारा तुम्हारे लिए ही कृष्ण के लिए ही माता पिता ने उनको इतना कंस ने उनको इतना कष्ट दिया यदि वो बाणी नहीं होती आकाश बाणी इसके गर्भ से सातवा आठवा पुत्र तुम्हें मारेगा तो क्या होता हम तो कष्ट नहीं देता तो वो कष्ट नहीं देता किंतु उसी के लिए इतना कष्ट सहा कितना दिन जन्म से लेकर के अब तक मैं बलदेव की भी लेकर के जाऊं तो लोग कहेंगे कि बड़ा भारी नंद बाबा स्वार्थी है स्वार्थी है लोग निंदा करेंगे हमें बलदेव को भी ले गया और बलदेव जी कह रहे हैं मैं सौगंध खा करके कहता हूं आप कृष्ण को बजदि ब्रज में ले जाएंगे तब बिना कृष्ण का मैं नहीं रह सकता मथुरा में वसुदेव देव जी के पास आओ So, Sri Krishna Baba, I'm sitting on the lap of Nanda Baba. Said, <clears throat> "Oh Baba, Krishna is asking because Krishna is very tricky. Because when he is with Vasudev and Devaki, then he says, 'I am your son,' and when he is with Nanda Baba, then he is saying, 'Oh Father, I am definitely your son.' So, Krishna said to Baba, Nanda Baba, 'Oh Baba, Father.'" Vasudev and Devaki are saying, "You are our son. You are our son." <coughs> hmm. And also, all mature Basi are also saying the same thing. They are catching me and saying, "Listen, you are really the son of Vasudev." Dev, I wanted to come and meet you before, but all the residents of Mathura stopped me from coming to meet you. <coughs> Then they were thinking what to say. Then Balaram gave nice answer. Balaram said, "Listen, father." Baba, that parents who give up the baby, that cannot be called a real parent. But rather that those parents, who, those persons who look after the child, like the eyelids protect the eye, that person is real mother and father. Only one who gives birth, this is not the real mother and father. The one who protects and nourishes like a mother and father, they are the real mother and father. Therefore, you are saying that. I will stay here alone with without Krishna. That is completely impossible, Balaram is saying. Even if Lord Brahma, the Creator of the universe, comes to me thousands of times and says, "Be without Krishna, be without Krishna," I cannot be without him. Then Nanda Baba said, "What do you want? What is your decision?" Then Balaram said, "Oh, really, Nanda Baba, you are my real father, and your sister is my real mother." 
I cannot stay here alone and cry and be here with Devaki and Vasudev without Krishna. Even if Brahma says so and gives me order, I cannot follow his instruction. Then Nanda Baba said, but another problem is there. Vasudeva and Devaki was so much tortured by King Kamsa. At the time of marriage in Vasudeva and Devaki, a voice came from the sky. O oh, fool Kamsa, the eighth child will be the cause of your death. Therefore, because of you, because of Krishna, she, they both had to suffer so many years in jail. If that voice had not come, they would not have suffered. Therefore, at this time, after so many years of suffering, then I take Krishna away to Vrindavan. Then all will say, Nanda Baba is very selfish and cruel. After so many years suffering again, he is taking Krishna away from Basudev and Devaki. Therefore, <clears throat> I cannot take Krishna away, Balaram is And Balaram is saying, I cannot be alone without Krishna. Nanda is thinking, if I take Balaram away from here, Oh, Nanda never sir. thought Krishna is their son. But if I take even Balaram with Krishna, then all will criticize me and told he's very selfish. He take his own son and take the possibility of his son also with him. It's not fair. Oh, one kitchen. <laughs> Any kitchen you like.
Oh 